Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your love reading here for um, the end of January into the end of February. So a little bit of January, a little bit of February, mostly February. Um, let's see what the love messages are for you. If you are new to my channel, please smash that like, subscribe, and share button if you don't well, if you want to share, um, would greatly appreciate that. And yes, welcome to all my new members. And um, yeah, just be mindful. It's a general reading, so some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Also, personal reading links are below in the description box. All right, and you guys, don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook. Um, the link is, or the address is right above there at the top of the video and also in the description box. Okay, so Virgo, let's start off. We're going to use the Love Oracle Romance Angels messages and see what what's coming out for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, forgiving and learning. All right, that's kind of a thing for you, Virgo. Um, letting go of the past so that you can have more... Um, love in your present moment so this is you know virgo it's just really like get yourself in a position of forgiving and learn from something learn the lessons um don't stress about anything uh, it just feels like a letting go i feel like you guys have been getting this message a lot lately like there's just something here that you've got to just put it behind you okay you also have honeymoon so enjoying the bliss of holiday time together and i feel like in order to have a beautiful um whether it's a holiday or just some type of like connection with someone to really enjoy each other it's about letting go of um mistakes and things that might have happened in the past so um let me see what else is going on here I feel like somebody here also, like it's two people letting go of the past and just getting together and, and, and just enjoying the bliss, well, you know, why we fell in love in the first place, what thing, like kind of bringing things back to how they used to be, the, the good, and the like all the good. <laughs> all right, and you also have making the effort. So Virgo looks like someone's definitely going to try to make an effort to let go of the past, forgive, could be you, another person, both of you, to forgive and try to like have a new, like a new connection or start something up here beautifully. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So it's beautiful, especially with February being the month of love. Um, yeah, I feel like someone is trying to put their burdens and basically the burdens behind them they've come to the end of some kind of struggle there might have been somebody who was like fighting you or fighting a relationship or not trying to um like it just was too there was too much struggle maybe too many problems um feeling like a burden just feeling stressed and exhausted and so you know the, the 10 is always just like pretty much the ending of that coming to the end of the struggle okay so all right we just had yeah the star pop out here okay aquarius energy so you could be connecting with an aquarius virgo um oh, wow with the ten of cups yeah i feel like somebody wants to heal something here with you a lovely beautiful connection um that may have had some struggle or some issues in it. It's like, okay, can we just put this behind us and try to have something new here? The star is like a very healing and um, uh, it's like revelation. It's like being hopeful about having that um, 10 of cups energy running away together. That's that honeymoon card. So I feel like somebody here wants to sneak away from you know indecision or uh, you know make a compromise somebody here wants to it feels like just cut everybody else out and have you and you and them you know both of you come together to try to have like this i mean it's just kind of also along the lines of like somebody just wants to cuddle <laughs> can we just cuddle and just you know have these good feelings and try to get back to that and you know forget about the struggles and the problems just for a moment and just try to heal our relationship through our love for one another and the healing that star energy um it's like a miracle <laughs> and having faith okay so hmm now for some of you this is definitely going to be with an Aquarius I feel and 
um, whether that's their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, if you know if you know their sun, but you don't know their their natal chart, it, they're coming across with this Aquarian energy here of like healing, okay, and renewal, renewing a relationship, trying to make things better, okay. Because you've got cups, you've got wands, and you've got swords so far. So the intellect, the physical, and the emotional. Um, you don't have any pentacle energy. Okay. But that doesn't mean it won't show up. So let me see what else is going on here. Also healing from some deception. Or if there was like betrayal or a cheating thing or something like that. Now listen, if you're on... If somebody has, you know, betrayed or cheated like, I don't know, seven times, I mean, and then they're trying to come back and heal it. No, they're not. They're just trying to, like, keep what they have and just keep doing what they're doing. I mean, one time, okay, people make mistakes. Like, I get it. But, like, two, three, four times, then that's intentional. So, you know, this reading is not for you if you have someone who's been, like, on the prowl for quite some time and you keep forgiving them, um... You, you can forgive, but you got to learn and just keep it moving, right? So I think you guys know that. <laughs> All right, let me see here. What else is going on? I just feel like somebody wants to sneak away and spend some time with you. That Somebody's coming your way to try to make the effort. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of physical attraction that this person has for you. Um, and they're waiting to hear from you, I'm hearing, or to connect with you. Okay, they're waiting. Whether it's to hear from you or connect with you, it's just that this person's like curious. They're they're in wonderment with the three of wands. I feel like this person is like, are you guys at a distance? Or they're just, they're going, like I feel like this person, if, if this is a connection like in real life, I feel like this person, um, you, they either go to the co coffee shop you guys went to waiting for you to walk in, um, or they go to the place where you both were connecting. Uh, you don't go there anymore, but I feel like this person goes there still, whether that's like, um, virtual or it's physical, like in the 3D, whatever it is. I feel like this, you have not left this person, um, in their their senses and i feel like this person with the knight of wands is just very passionate about you okay well hello king of swords always showing up in these readings right every time okay it could be aquarius like i said gemini libra um this person is like very being very strategic <laughs> with showing up or going to the they're waiting to catch a glimpse of you or waiting to see you um looking for you i feel like they're looking for you they're all up in their head, though, about you. They want to talk to you. And that's what they want to talk about. Like, you know, let's, can we put this behind us? Can we try to have like a new start here? Um, a new beginning, that kind of energy. Yeah, look, Knight of Swords energy. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm picking up strong Aquarius vibes, you guys. Strong Aquarius vibes. Like, I don't even know. Um, And, and some Gemini. Okay. So, yeah. Wherever this person's, like, I don't even know if that's their sun, their moon, their rising, whatever it might be. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, gosh, Virgo, like, this person is definitely in a position of, like, no longer noncommittal. That's just the strong message that I'm getting here. I feel like this, there was somebody here who was just kind of living their life in fantasy land for the longest time and now they're ready to take action and make change and um it feels like i hate saying this word they're giving me pedestal but i don't like it like that it feels more like a priority and make the relationship a priority okay um so if they weren't someone who was just living in la-la land or fantasy mode, if you ghosted or you just kind of disappeared on them, I feel like this person um, 
wants to put an end to that and see where you are and try to find you and connect with you in some way it's really interesting so this is like going forward okay um so it might not resonate for you right now because it might not be happening right now but i feel like going forward this energy will play out i definitely see connecting with one another holiday bliss you know i know valentine's day is not technically a holiday i don't think um but it is a it is a celebratory day a, a day of love so you know there's something here you might hear from this person or they're thinking about getting you a gift or trying to um you know connect with you come see you um definitely communication like they have a lot to say what does this person want to tell virgo oh man yeah two cups like you two are meant for each other i feel like their energy um and by the way i'm going to be wearing pink from now through the end of february i feel like this person f definitely feels a connection with you there's a romantic connection um this card can be about proposal of some sort and i know you had that yesterday even marriage um but this is like like-minded individuals i feel like when this person sees you or they they look at you they see themselves um and I feel like there's a mutual, like you guys have a mutual love and there's a mutual understanding or even like friendship, the strong bond with friendship. So I feel like this is definitely this person wanting to connect with you, whether that's like sitting across from each other or sharing drinks or um, having coffee together or um definitely like heal the energy you see the caduceus there that's definitely like could be a leo for some of you they're just saying but um far away from home though yeah look at the house in the background on the hill there so this is like either you're both far away from home where you connect it might be a travel situation um where you meet somewhere um or meet in the middle for sure because that's what this card is about yeah let me see how this person feels about you virgo like what are their feelings okay wow like i feel like this part i feel like they want to open up and tell you like everything they want to have that conversation um they want to learn more about you too there's some things about you that they don't know or that you have not revealed and I feel like this person wants to understand more about you but they feel like they hurt you they do you know and in turn they got hurt themselves you know hurt people hurt people so um but they definitely feel like you're kind of standoffish with them you know at this time or will be feeling that way going forward let me see how else does this person feel about virgo okay <laughs> they feel like you're gonna like slice and dice their head off for sure um wow virgo that's how they feel towards you i don't know if that's how you feel towards them but let me see what else their feelings are towards you okay mm. yeah they feel like that things could change they feel like you must be my lucky star yeah definitely there's this like they feel so lucky to um have known you or they feel so lucky to have you in their life or have a connection with you even if that connection is broken um <clears throat> they just feel very lucky for even you to have interest in them okay let me see i don't know what's happening why this energy is playing out right now um i don't know if it, there's a catalyst that's made this happen but there was some kind of struggle that ended or something came to an end okay we have libra and energy so pretty much a lot of the signs are showing up cancer um taurus uh scorpio energy um yeah i feel like this person wants to bring things back into balance i mean as far as their emotions yeah very deep feelings now we have the king of cups i mean this person like seriously has deep love for you but the king of cups does never never shows their feelings neither does the king of swords you know um they don't generally so they both have feelings um but the king of cups feelings are deep and sometimes just completely hidden like you would never know king of cups wears a poker face has a mask um 
it just does not reveal you see all that water down there underneath like they're like a um they're like a volcano under the water you know um deep tumultuous uh chaotic sometimes emotions they feel things very deeply very heavy vibration the king of swords does feel things but um shares things by way of intellect communication you can tell if a king of swords or you know male or female energy remember that you can tell by the way um they talk you know like king of swords will always give you good advice um, or try to um, bring clarity or try to uh, help you with things like uh, by advice and communication. And that's their way of caring. King of Cups will show their way of caring by su being supportive um, as far as like nurturing and um, um, being like showing healing support and, and empathy and tolerance. Okay. Um, okay. But again, whoever this person is whatever their sun sign whatever their sign is um they just keep they're, they're in isolation they keep things very deeply hidden so i feel like this person has been thinking very deeply about how they feel about you and i feel like they're really in love with you or, or just they just love you like that's it <clears throat> okay yeah three of swords reverse so yeah they want to heal this relationship they want to heal heal the heart um this is recovery after some kind of break or argument um this could be an apology so there's there's definitely energy of some kind of an apology coming forward from this person and especially you might begin to feel this energy happening or it might start happening like from the time you're listening to this video um throughout january the rest of january but also um it, definitely in February. Okay, wait. They just said hidden oracle messages. So hold on. Let me see. Hidden oracle mess. Hidden or hidden truth oracle messages for Virgo. This person's feelings for Virgo. Okay. It was my fault but I blamed you. Okay. So this person is definitely taking accountability for their role in um, a relationship, not putting all the blame on you. Lessons learned. Lessons definitely being learned here on their end, and I'm sure on yours, but we will take a look at you in just a minute. Um, let me see. Hidden Truth Oracle dropping. Okay, you speak to me through music. So there might be a musical connection or they are getting some kind of musical download from you. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So yeah, I feel like you're on this person's mind subconsciously and consciously. Okay, let me see. I feel like this person lays in bed and they keep themselves awake on purpose to dream about you. I mean, it's so sweet. They, they keep themselves awake on purpose to think about you, like to imagine what things could be like and how things could go. Let me see, what else? Oh, we had an avalanche of uh, emotions here. I know that I crossed the line with you, so I do feel like this person's having some kind of wake up, lesson learn issue or um, realization. They love you, um, definitely, and I think I said that that you don't know how hard it was to let you go. They wish they treated you better and they want to be more than just friends. So if this person kind of gave you the vibe or told you, um, let's just be friends or can we just be friends? I mean, I think that was bull. I feel like this person definitely wants more than that and probably lied as well. I do feel like they want more than that with you. Let me see you, Virgo. What are your emotions towards this person? Okay, <clears throat> you just wish that they would just come forward and do what needs to be done, express their love um, for you, like be bold and courageous and make that offer. You know, um, I feel like you do love this person, you know, deep down, but it might be buried under 
some stuff okay i feel like this person like virgo the way you, you view them as a winner for sure someone that, that's admirable or someone that you look at and you see um they might have like a lot of recognition surrounding them in some way but i feel like you view them as someone who is very capable and courageous and bold in a lot of areas of their life and um yeah i feel like if I feel like your thought process is if they feel that they're so lucky to have you and this connection and all, um, why don't they come forward and, you know, show that, you know what I mean? Because Virgo, I kind of feel like you're just like, yeah, well, you are lucky. <laughs> um, but Virgo, I kind of feel like in some way with the six of cups in the reverse, um, yeah, you're stuck on this devil energy that occurred or the toxicity that occurred in this relationship. And I feel like that's why the forgiving and learning card came out because there's something here, like you've got to let that go, right? You need to like lance the toxicity from your blood. That's really the strongest thing because I do feel like some things, like I said, if there was cheating or betrayal with the seven of swords or dishonesty or someone was running away, like in order for something to work here, despite how somebody feels, like you have to forgive in order to have a new start. It's not, it's not like it takes two to tango. That's kind of how I feel. Capricorn energy there. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, okay, so Virgo, I feel like you just want this person um, to come out of their restrictions and to come out of hiding, okay, um, this person, th there's a mysteriousness about them, they have like some kind of um, hidden thing or you might think that they hide stuff and i think with the eight of swords in the reverse you're kind of like you know um <laughs> the, the free yourself from like you say to this person okay they're just giving me august 11th um the energy is like please they you want this person to free themselves from their their hidden uh, insecurities like this person has insecurities that you intuitively know about and you're aware of um, and maybe because this person kind of masks they don't really show that that much they kind of front a little bit um, but you want them to be able to trust you so that they can like open up to you and tell you um, like what's really going on you, you just want this person to have this like you want them to liberate liberate themselves because yeah and and put it like put death to their insecurities right um and we also have cancer pisces i might be repeating signs scorpio i feel like with the eight of swords so the eight of swords basically is like um this person is like a self-sabotager or they imprison themselves with their thoughts and i feel like they get like really stuck and lost and they go deep with that sometimes and they mask and they hide it and they don't let you know what they're thinking or you know what they're they're intuiting or what's going on within them so it's a little bit of a mystery and a puzzle and i feel like you just you're like where's that damn puzzle piece i would just wish you would just just give me the puzzle piece so i can finish this shit <laughs> finish this puzzle out right i don't know it's just a weird energy like you want to put an end to this and and you want this person like you hope for sure with the, part of this healing is that they're going to open up and you know reveal something to you okay um like reveal what's going on deep inside them you you know like how you have this like do you want them to be hopeful and um, escape from this, I don't know, oppression or something. I feel like they do it to themselves, you know. Um, and just remember, you guys, this definitely can just relate to a family member or a friend. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love thing. Okay, but let me just see what the future holds here. What the future holds in this relationship what to expect because i do feel like this person um wants to try to get back and get back in the comfort zone with you um and like be physically like just the physical affection and intimacy and love for a romantic relationship all right what does the future hold for virgo and this person going forward future energies going forward for virgo Hmm. 
Maybe spirit doesn't want you to know. Oh, okay. So, all right. Um, it's going to take a while for the healing to happen. Let me just say that. The Ace of Cups reversed. Okay. So there isn't going to be any new love with anybody else at this, you know, in the next three months, or at least through February. I feel like... Um, the healing is going to be slow, right? So it's going to feel like it's kind of uh, almost like a delay of some sort. The healing is going to be slow. And the communication going forward with this person, um, hmm, they just told me somebody's, somebody is, 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 um, pulling away from looking at or searching somebody's pulling away from searching for something searching for answers um and just letting the you know the process um unfold the way it's supposed to be naturally so as far as like this relationship goes you know the ace of cups whether it's upright or in reverse when it shows up in a reading it's a very positive card it just means that um there's a process, a, a little bit of a delay. There's a process here of, you know, going through maybe a depressive period going forward and, and then the healing can take place. Like the healing's not going to happen if it's, you're already healed. You know what I mean? Like you have to like have some kind of wound in order to heal. So it's a slow healing, but I, it feels like it's going to move forward. And, you know, if there was some kind of cut or whether that's, literally or figuratively or something happened or there was an argument or nastiness like that's done with and now the future looks good with these two cards in reverse i know some tower readers would be like i don't even like that makes no sense but it does to me because it feels to me like the healing is going to start happening it's going to be a slow slow progress okay towards yeah that new beginning definitely and look the tower's in the reverse which is a really great sign okay because it's like there's security now um disaster will be averted now because we're on the uptake here with the healing card with again the star card so i mean it looks like it it's like on the mend okay but i feel like this person wants to be on the mend with you and they want to I don't know, there's there's so much healing and physical touch. And I'm not just talking about, you know, the the acts as far as like under the covers or anything like that. I feel like it's more along the lines of like physical touch, the vibrations, the senses um, brings the healing, you know, because when you're when people are angry with each other, upset with each other, they don't want to kiss, they don't want to hug. It's more like get away from me, or there's anger, they're just frustrated, and they don't want to be in somebody's presence. But the fact that this person wants to have some type of physical touching or kissing, it's that they they want you, they want you to be next to them. They want to feel you, and and just feel that love energy. Okay, so things are looking at least will be looking up and i do feel like in february um there's going to be this opportunity to heal uh, a relationship in a very positive way and there might be something around some kind of holiday thing and i'm just thinking i mean you've got valentine's day on february 14th and then i mean i don't know that there's any other holiday in february it could be somebody's birthday um spending time um if this person's an aquarius they might have like end of january february birthday and there's a getting like you guys will come together okay play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other very good okay addiction affecting the relationship so there might have been some type of um addiction that interfered in the relationship but look you've got to go slow take time to get to know each other this friendship is leading to more so you guys, you know, it might be an energy you might tell this person or they might say, you know, I do want to be with you. Let's go slow. Let's try to reestablish our, our foundation as friends and rebuild. So it's a very positive um, message, I feel, for you. All right, let me take a look at Chinese signs. So we're going to get into like features, Chinese signs, all that stuff. 
All right, you guys. Let's see what this Chinese sign of this person or of you or both of you, or it may not be any of you, so take that with a grain of salt. Okay, so you have the snake and you have the rooster. Okay, we have the rabbit. We're in the year of the rabbit right now. You have the ox. Okay, year of the dragon. Year of the monkey. Year of the rat. Okay, rabbit again. Could be two rabbits. Ox again, two oxes. Rooster again, two roosters. Okay, year of the tiger. So that could be you, it could be your person, it could be both of you or none. Okay, so just take that, like I said, as it resonates. It doesn't mean that it's not your reading if I didn't call a Chinese sign. Um, let me do the features. What are the features, physical features of you or this person? Try to narrow it down a little bit here. Physical features of Virgo and this person. I want to get them a good shuffle. Okay, somebody is bald. Okay, somebody wears glasses. <laughs> okay, somebody is short. All right, somebody's got a mohawk, and it looks like um, I don't a gauge. Maybe they are they have a gauge. Okay, somebody's got very short hair, although her hair doesn't look short. It could have like very short layers. Okay, um, there's someone here who's plus size. Okay, and also slender. <laughs> so it could be you and this person or one of you. Okay, we've got someone here who has brown hair and also someone with long hair. All right, I'm gonna do one more because these are way too many. All right, we also have someone here who's very tall. Okay. You know what? They said two more. Okay. Someone with blue eyes. And someone with hazel eyes. I feel like the hazel eyes keep coming up. And also curly hair. I said two more and I went and did a few more. Okay. So let's see. These are interesting messages, Virgo, because every day they change. So, you know, when you guys come and you listen, um, sometimes there's like this um, continuum that happens, like like a soap opera. We end on something and then it, it goes, then the next um, episode is finishing of that ending. <clears throat> and other times it's like completely different. And I know it might throw some of you off where you're like so confused. Listen, you have to just understand that every day is gonna be something different and sometimes it may not be that continuation. Sometimes it may not be that message. So it's gonna to go to something else, okay? Um, I don't know if that makes sense for, with you, but it's always, it's like when you watch the news, every day there's always something new that might happen. Um, let me see what your moon pie messages are here. What else does Virgo need to know? The end of January into February, 2023. Okay. Toxic city, something's got a hold of you. Breaking the chain seems impossible. Take it one day at a time. Healing doesn't happen overnight. Face your fears. Pray for guidance and ask to be lifted out, up, lifted up. This is a time of deep struggle, but know that you're not alone. Okay. So some of you, um, I feel like there might be an addiction or an obsession that either you or another person is trying to let go of. Um, it's just an energy of trying to get healthy, really. It could be, for some of you, it's really like changing your diet or breaking some bad habits. Some of you have been doing that for maybe your New Year's resolution. You made a plan to break some bad habits and stuff like that. Um, and you're still working on that. And I think that's awesome. And keep keep it going. Don't quit. Um, 
because even when you have like even if you have a setback here and there just know that's not a failure um, no that's part of the process of achievement right so don't give up just because you have a setback or you hit a speed bump also i just saw a card flip out oh here it is okay spiritual principles traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path what are your spiritual beliefs virgo will you conform what path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go oh okay so you've got a loving older female who's in your life at this time or will be showing up um she's very supportive and very and cares very much about your mental emotional physical well-being okay um she comes with a lot of healing energy or she might be healing herself you also have an emotional wish that's being granted during this time period as well okay so this feels like um something that makes your heart happy um something you've been wishing for praying about is going to come in february okay so whatever that means for you and you also have stand your ground all right hmm some of you have some situations that are happening in your life um now and going forward that you're gonna need to stand up for yourself virgo and and the message here is whatever that is for you if it's not happening now or it shows up you make sure that you like stand up for yourself you have to be your about your own at like personal advocate for yourself you're also going to receive um uh, a loan is going to be offered to you as well okay and a no-win situation is actually going to have um a victory okay so a situation that you might feel like there's it's like there's no winning in this it's it's not a win for either one um actually is going to turn around okay i feel like there's going to be joy and happiness and um the win is going to come for either you or um you and another person wow okay this just was in the deck upright wealth health and abundance so yeah virgo it looks like you know definitely in this month and going forward there's going to be um like things are just going to like you're going to have access to your abundance for sure removing all those blocks and whatever you're looking to achieve in your life or your goals that you have set for yourself you're, you're going to come into them you will and i feel like just by the end of the month of february you're going to be able to look back and see wow look how far i've come and the things that i was worrying about really um actually are working out there's renewal again my gosh reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness time to head in a new direction clarity on your life purpose in your heart you know what to do okay um i just heard the name Jax. Jax. okay um let's see and also someone's name starts with a c and then they just said jacinda uh, so we have jc maybe jesus christ coming into your life <laughs> jc okay let's see what else all right Virgo, plan carefully before taking any action going forward. But once you plan and you get it together, then get going. And there's also a guardian angel or someone who watches over you, Virgo. Um, oh, they just gave me the name Candy. And now they're saying Kyle. Candy. I don't know if it's with a K or um, a C. And Kyle okay hmm oh refocus your thoughts virgo that's the strongest message here don't allow worry to grow out of proportion to your situation okay you have unfounded fears um expecting the worst creates self-fulfilling prophecies so this is manifesting positive energy manifesting positive thoughts that's a practice i feel that you, you might need to get into okay mm. let's see what names coming up here with okay 
I just heard the name Asia, A-S-I-A or A-Z-I-A, and Hakim. Okay, last one. All right. Do you have a Keurig, coffee Keurig? Somebody has a Keurig and maybe it broke. You need to go get another one. <laughs> I'm just hearing. There's something to do with a coffee Keurig. I don't, that's not a name. Well, it is a name, it's a pronoun. I guess, it's not a, is that a pronoun? Keurig. I think it's a lot, maybe it's the last name. I don't know, what the heck am I talking about? So um, some of you also uh, might be seeing a counselor or thinking about seeing a counselor and the last name of the counselor, um, I don't know if their first name is Kenneth or Ken, um, or maybe the last name is Kenneth, I'm just hearing, okay, male or female, uh, Ken or Kenneth. All right, there's something here about a counselor that seems to be very important. Or it could be a teacher also or a professor, um, or it's a, it's a relationship, like a romantic relationship with someone by that name, like Kenneth. Okay, let me see. Do I have any? Yeah, I'm going to get some charms. We haven't done the charms. Let's see what the charm messages are here for you. Okay. Oh, we've got a key. Have a horse. Maybe you're the horse. Okay. Or somebody rides horses. Or there's something, some connection to horses. This is power. This is all about power. And I feel like this is you, Virgo. Um, either there's a powerful relationship that's being renewed, or it's an energy of like self empowerment. Okay, something that you might be embarking on at this time in your life, um, or continuing on with self empowerment. Um, and also this key. Um, okay, they just told me somebody's got a profile picture that's like not a picture. It's actually like um, a silhouette. They're just they're just showing me the silhouette. And also I'm seeing the little Snapchat ghost. So there might be something on Snapchat or connected to a Snapchat app that ha holds the key to your heart. I don't know what that means. Um, there's something on Snapchat. Oh, Okay, now they're just saying um, something to do with location services on Snapchat. I don't know if you have, if you use that app, if your location services are showing. Um, I don't know if that's imp like you don't care about that or you do care about that. I don't, I, I'm not sure. They're just saying like that's the key. <laughs> location services on social media like wherever there's somebody wherever someone has a profile picture that shows a silhouette or um and something to do with location services connected to i guess it would be an online thing or, or media thing and also so you've got pink so pink lips pink lips okay so that can go one of two ways okay um Somebody wants to kiss your pink lips or someone wants to kiss some pink lips. Okay, we're, we're not going any further than that. Maybe it's just lipstick <laughs> or somebody's name is Mackenzie. I don't, I'm not really sure. I just got Mackenzie, but there's definitely um, some pink lip action happening in February. Hey, holla. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave your reading there. That was fun. I hope you liked that. I hope you enjoyed that. Do follow me on Facebook, Kellyanne Rose 8. The link is in the description box below. It's also up top here that you can see it. Um, I'm pretty active on there. And also, you guys can send me stars on there, right? 99 cents for like 100 stars. Put stars on the videos because I'm doing reels now and I'm trying to incorporate more um, like messages in the reels so you can also get extra messages there so definitely check that out you can also become a member of my channel where for 9.99 a month is 33 cents a day you can get early access to the videos okay so you'll see them before anybody else and um yeah that's pretty much it just wait for february i will be doing um a special discounted personal readings for february for the month of love so keep your eyes peeled if you want to get a reading with me and it will be pretty like discounted pretty well so you'll be able to just grab what you need all right you guys love you very much my virgo family and i will see you all back here 
uh, tomorrow for your weekend love reading. All right, take care.